Hey everyone, Eric with Rock and H. Just going to give a couple minutes for other folks to get on, see if we get some viewers out here this afternoon. I think my dog's outside the fence this morning. That's not good. Come on, pooch. Anyways, Eric is a horse here with Rock and H Farm Toys, and I am in the midst of a big transition. Some of you that follow me know that I have moved, and I am uh, now in my new place. We moved in. 14 days ago tomorrow and we've actually only been here for seven days because we took a, a seven day vacation in Florida so uh, things have been crazy and I got a new shop set up but so I'm sitting here on the deck of the new place here what we're gonna do here in a few minutes is um, put together a super B grain suspension I gotta get this done this guy bought this a while ago and parts didn't come in hey Mark how are you then took the vacation, moved all this other stuff, and it's overdue. So I got to get this done, and I thought I'll share with you how I do this. Anyway, so um, also for those of you that have been following me, I have uh, set up a temporary lab because I have uh, don't have a place to put one. And so where I'm going to show you here is where hopefully a nice garage is going to go right over there in the corner of the yard. I have been... Uh, I was going to buy a building that was already pre-made and well that thing is not going to be uh, big enough and then a friend of mine said hey Eric I can get you a better deal on a thing on another garage long story short I'm working on getting a 18 by 24 foot garage so I got to get a whole bunch of stuff done here but in the meantime I got to get some work done so here's the makeshift lab for now uh, there was some stuff in the ceiling, so I strung up a light this morning early, got my paint booth set up, and, and just my workbench, and just some basic things, just to kind of get me where I can function and get some stuff done, because uh, I told most guys I was taking June off and May, uh, orders keep coming in, and man, I just got to get stuff done, and here we are. So, uh, without further ado... And it's been a while since I've shot a video too, and obviously, you know, it's just life's full, like most of your lives are full, and it's all been good. So, uh, let's get to work, eh? All right, here we go. I'm just going to kick you around here and put this in the cradle. I did not test fit this earlier. This, There we go. We'll get you hooked up so you can see stuff. All righty. Hey, thanks a lot, Dan. Ah, there we go. Sorry, I may have lost uh, connection there. I'm back in the garage, and anyways. So here's what we're going to assemble. This is the uh, Super B suspension. This is how I make Super B trains when I build them. And it's really simple to use. Far and away the easiest one that I've ever found. And uh, we're, we're going to get to that in a second. This comes from Paul Old Trailers right here. Um, there you go. Maybe he didn't want his address shown. But anyways, Hall, John Miller, Paul Old Trailers. Here's what I paid for them. There, clear that up. They're $17.50 a piece, and then you can see the rest. So like I said, far and away the simplest way to make a Super B that I've found thus far. And I've put together quite a few of them. I charge $180 for them. So if you make your own and choose to sell some, there's one point of reference for you. Why 180? Yeah, just because I wanted to. Um, why 180? Well, you got $17 in your Super B kit plus shipping, your suspension kit, and then most of these Wilsons here, they are going to run you between $35 and $45, where, depending on where you buy them. Uh, it's, pretty variable there. These are just the standard Wilson 10 to max, so nothing special, okay? And when I build Super Bs, I figure if it's nice, do it twice, so I'm also going to put together this black one. They don't match. This one, I don't, they don't match. Um, the hoppers are not the same and some other stuff, but I'll sell that one at a discount just because it doesn't match. I mean, they're super simple to make. And, and so there you go all right here we are when you take out your kit you're gonna get a whole bunch of parts most of this stuff I really don't have any idea how to use because I just haven't taken time to learn 
or figure it out. So there's this thing here. I don't know how to use that. Or black things. I don't know what these are for either. I don't know. Um, here, there you go. There's a better shot. Don't know what those are for. Um, but what I do use is this stuff right here. Okay. So I've already got one of them cut out. So I'll basically show you how to go about removing this from its frame. There's going to be tiny little pins where the laser did not cut all the way through so the parts wouldn't fall out of their, their little holder. Um, once you break a few of the pins that are holding this in with your X-Acto knife, this thing will pop right out and it comes out very nicely, okay? So we'll do a couple more of these just for fun. And you can see there, I mean, once you break, cut a couple of those pins, bam, there, it's very, very simple. Some of these just twist out like that. We're not talking about rocket science. And they are pretty resilient. I've had very good luck with these, so. When in doubt, give a little cut. Use a sharp knife, okay? Looks like I may have to cut a little more here. All right, so that's how it's done, guys. Very, very simple to do. Um, I definitely recommend, if you wanna make a Super B, to do this. And if you've watched my tutorials on how to uh, make your pups, then, uh-oh, that's not working out as well as I thought. If you've watched my tutorials on how to make pups, you'll own this. You can build one of these start to finish in an hour. I mean, I take a little time to let things, you know, paint dry, but golly, molly, people, these are just really easy to build. Okay, now that you got all your parts put together or cut apart, um, then you're just going to be needing some glue and some different things to. I dry fit this one. I test fit all this together earlier just to make sure it all work uh, smoothly and, and be efficient with your time you don't need or don't want to use here's the parts that I just cut out okay so we're going to start with this part right here this is where your fifth wheel plate is going to go okay basically you're just going to take that and slide that in there like so okay put it up flush you'll notice it's too wide that's for a purpose Okay. Okay, just like so. Okay. Hang on here. Get get rid of a reminder on my phone. There we go. Uh, next, you can go ahead and put this part together. Okay. I always dry fit everything, just like I'm showing you. I don't know that I should say always. I often dry fit things just to make sure everything fits together nice, okay? See how these parts went inside and in between that frame and the frame outside frame rails, okay? That works well. Okay, these have a fat end and a narrow end and corresponding slots for those ends, okay? So it should fit together. If these parts don't fit together just perfectly, don't sweat it. Don't don't freak out. Just take your X-Acto knife and shave out some plastic or or make openings wider so they do fit. Okay. Okay, and then finally this part right here goes inside there. Okay. Once you've dry fit everything together, you're confident that everything looks nice and neat and perfect and beautiful, then you come back with your glue and glue that bad boy together. Again, if things don't fit quite perfect and awesome, definitely do not be afraid. Like, I mean, right here, you can see a little bit of a gap. You can come in here and with your knife and clean those edges up to where it fits even better.
okay? You can see here, it doesn't fit, whoops, sorry about that, it doesn't fit just perfect, no worries. Should take that apart, and bam. See, it doesn't take much, it's really simple. That's the beautiful thing about styrene, is it's soft, it's easy to work with, and if you're just beginning and you're a bit nervous about using these different products, I mean, styrene's a great one to go with, because one, it doesn't cost much, and uh, it's just really super easy to work with, kind of forgiving too. Hi, Ken, how are you doing? Aren't you supposed to be out working in the fields? So anyways, you get the idea here, okay? Things don't work gorgeous, make it so they do. No worries, got it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take some glue here and begin putting this bad boy together a little bit more. And I'll show you my favorite glue. In just a moment I'm just there we go had one little spot I didn't like okay so here I'm gonna just wiggle it apart nice and neat okay then we're gonna come in and start gluing this bad boy together here we go okay I'm putting just a little bit of glue everywhere um, doesn't take a lot Styrene is easy to put together. Oh, here's what I'm using for glue. Sorry about that. Um, you can find this at rockandhfarmtoys.com. In the resources section, I have an Amazon store there, and um, I have a link inside my Amazon store where you can buy this glue and all the product, many, many of the common products that I use um, that are reference uh, knives, tools, decal stuff, all that kind of stuff is in my Amazon store because I keep getting lots of questions about the same thing and it's like, well, here, just go buy it here. And I do get a commission on anything you might happen to buy in my store, so uh, thank you for those of you that do shop there. And the nice thing about Amazon is you get Amazon, if you have Amazon Prime, you get shipping for free. Isn't that cool? And then Golly, I just, I love shopping Amazon. That stuff gets there quick. And I have links to some DCP trucks I found, and combines, and power tools, hand tools, blah, 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 blah. Ah, okay, Kent, you got rained out. Fair enough. So you get a play today. All right. Okay. Little dab will do you right here. We live right by a busy street. We're kind of on the north edge of Dodge. Gosh dang it. We're right on the north edge of Dodge City now and it's just a super location. We were in a great location before, but boy, now I got room. Okay. If you need to, put a clamp in here until your glue dries. Put a clamp in here until your glue dries. If you need to. If you don't have to, don't. That's, that's okay, too. Okay, and then we're going to put this. Yeah, let's stick it right here. Why not? It doesn't matter if you glue the piece that goes in or you glue the framework, just as long as you get it glued together, that's what's important here. That's the important part. Just get her glued together. Of course, now that I'm live, trying to glue it together doesn't want to fit. Okay. Okay, there we go. And if you need to, dab a little insta set over it. There. There. Now it's not going to come apart. Okay. 
There you go, friends. That baby is ready to rock and roll. Um, one thing I didn't show you is the fifth wheel plate, and mostly because that thing makes me look like a doofus every time I try to put one together, so I didn't do it while you were watching. <laughs> um, I showed you before your fifth wheel plate here. Uh, I didn't actually cut this apart for you, but anyways, same situation as before. <clears throat> it's just going to pop out. Then you got to cut these tabs out. They correspond to these slots. Glow them in. No worries. Easy to do. Um, but I have a common habit of gluing it to my table. Anyways, be that as it may, this is going to pin right here. So you have a working fifth wheel plate. All right, And that's how you do it. You're going to use DCP uh, replacement wheels and tires in these holes, and these axles are designed to fit those DCP tires and axles. So from this point forward, what I will do is I will wipe this down with lacquer thinner, just wipe it down, getting all my fingerprints off residue. If you wanted to, you can come in here and um, you can take body filler and fill all this stuff in if you chose to. That's up to you. I don't as a habit. Um, and then paint it whatever color you wish to paint it. I always paint them black. That's just my, that's just what I do. Um, and they'll take paint, I prime it first and then paint them black, okay? And that's what you're going to do. In a little bit, um, in the next um, hour and a half, I'm going to cut apart a bunch of trailers and then I will show you how this part mounts to your pup that you're going to make in order to make your Super B, okay? So that's how that's going to go. So um, now's a good time for questions. There's a few of you watching. So um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask and I will answer them. Uh, or you can post them in the comments later and that's up to you also. So. As we uh, close up, any questions as we as we get as we wrap, and uh, you can always post them later. Uh, this afternoon, I got a full schedule. I got to make these sup two super bees, which I'll have wrapped up this afternoon, and then I got to go build some shells in my basement. How much fun is that? Then I figure out how much fill dirt I'm going to need to bring my uh, where my building is going to go up to grade. So that'll be fun. Anyways, guys, it looks like uh, there's no questions, so I'm going to let you go and catch you later. Uh, if I think about it, I will shoot a short video. Maybe you'll watch, maybe you won't, and that's okay. But I'll shoot another video just showing you how to mount that Super B frame to the pup. All right? We'll catch you later. Bye.